On October 6, 2018, Khabib Nurmagomedov achieved a remarkable victory by making Conor McGregor submit in the fourth round. The events that followed led to penalties for both McGregor and Khabib, sidelining them from the octagon for a period. However, Khabib's return was spectacular. At UFC 242 on September 7, 2019, with his father Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov in his corner for the last time, he defeated Dustin Poirier. This victory was not just a display of Khabib's prowess as a fighter, but also a part of his emotional journey as a son. The coronavirus pandemic caused the postponement or cancellation of numerous sports events. During this period, the highly anticipated match between Khabib and Tony Ferguson was postponed for the fifth time and then ultimately canceled. Due to the pandemic restrictions imposed by Russia, Khabib was unable to participate in the match. At UFC 249, Justin Gaethje knocked out Tony Ferguson to become the interim lightweight champion. This victory paved the way for his confrontation with Khabib. For Khabib, fighting after his father's death from COVID-19 in 2020 was a significant emotional challenge. He honored his father's legacy by defeating Justin Gaethje in what was his first fight without his father. After the match, he announced his retirement from fighting, taking up the leadership of his father's team. Khabib's career ended with an undefeated record of 29-0, cementing his place in the lightweight division's history. Despite some criticisms regarding the quality of his early opponents, Khabib's achievements and mastery as a fighter make him one of the sport's legends. Khabib's initial professional matches laid the foundation for his career. His first opponent, Vusal Bayramov, and other early career opponents were significant steps in his development. Although these opponents did not achieve great success, they played a crucial role in Khabib's rise. I talk with my father, my mother, three days. She don't know I go fight without father, but I promise her it's gonna be my last fight. Each victory during this period provided him with the experience and confidence necessary for subsequent successes. Khabib's career is defined not only by his victories against opponents, but also by his ability to overcome personal and professional challenges. Each match showcased his expertise in martial arts and his determination to reach the pinnacle of the sport. Khabib's legacy is immortalized, not just by his undefeated record, but also by his mutual respect and commitment to family values. At the start of Khabib Nurmagomedov's career, there was a perception that his opponents didn't have strong MMA records, but Khabib himself began with a remarkable career. Notably, three of his six fights on October 11, 2008, and two on August 8, 2009, were consecutive tournament matches. This indicates that there wasn't a deliberate choice of opponents. It was a tournament setting, and Khabib fought whoever was in front of him. The second significant point is Khabib's domination. In my opinion, Khabib was the most dominant fighter in UFC history. However, many might disagree because Khabib didn't perform as well in stand-up fighting. And the match against Gleison Tabau on July 7, 2012, had a controversial outcome. Throughout the match, Khabib couldn't dominate Tabau, who was very good at wrestling, but won due to the pressure he applied. Tabau's match becomes controversial when considering that Khabib is often compared to John Jones, with the latter only losing two rounds in his career raising the question of who is the greatest of all time. Initially a weak striker, Khabib demonstrated significant improvement over time. 
He performed exceptionally against Conor McGregor, knocking him out. He then established incredible pressure in stand-up fighting. So, was Khabib Nurmagomedov really the best of all time? Khabib is one of the best fighters in UFC history, but not at the pinnacle. In 2020, no one in the lightweight division could beat Khabib, a fact. The criticism towards Khabib primarily stems from his early retirement. Islam Makachev's performance against Alexander Volkanovsky showed that even seemingly invincible athletes could be defeated. Yet, it must be acknowledged that Khabib is not Islam Makachev and was much more advanced. Moreover, he was heavier and stronger for a lightweight fighter. Weighing around 85 kilolav in everyday life, Khabib cut down to 70 kilo for fights. In summary, Khabib could have been the undisputed best fighter in history, but his retirement at the peak of his career withdrew him from the competition. The claim that he faced easy opponents at the start is incorrect. He fought three different fighters on the same day in the same tournament, not choosing his opponents. His dominance in later years is also debated. The third round lost to Conor McGregor, the first round in the Justin Gaethje match, and the performance against Tibau will be long discussed. However, one undeniable truth is that this man won all 29 of his matches. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. My father, <laughs> I miss my father always, you know. <laughs>